So I just started playing Escape from Tarkov, the amazing game that throws you into a war zone filled with lethal NPCs and formidable players alike, and I got to say, it is freaking hard. This may be one of the hardest games I have ever played. But I played it nonetheless, because though this game is hard, it is also very rewarding when you are able to actually escape. During this time, I, I learned a lot about the game. For instance, you will probably die more than you win. Oh dear god, bro, you scared the hell out of me. Oh! Are you? <laughs> Come on. Beautiful morning. F was that? Dead. I don't know where that was. Huh? All right. Well, that boy came out of nowhere. Just want to wait to see if anybody shows up for that. Yep. Hello there. Frick. I'm dead. <laughs> or perhaps that is just me right now. I do suck. Either way, it is easy to get discouraged in this game because the moment you think you are doing well, it gets taken away by someone you don't even see. Oh! Oh my god! One thing that you may never get over is the gear fear. It is real in this game. Sometimes you're even so scared, you don't even want to move. Unless you're playing as a scav, because then you get to keep all your gear, obviously. But man, the gear fear, because this stuff that you have, your guns and your gear, it's so valuable, especially when you just get started and to see your already meager supplies start to dwindle because you suck so bad, it just intensifies it. I suppose one strategy would be to just do scav runs to keep learning the game and also to earn some juicy loot along the way. But either way, getting started is very difficult. 
I also learned that sometimes it's better to just die quickly. Because yes, you can die slowly, and I didn't think it was possible, but I did. Oh my god, I can never tell. I can never tell. But I got the upper hand this time. I'm bleeding, though, so... Please have bandages. Cheeky breaky, you dumb bitch. Yeah, cheeky breaky, yes. Am I still bleeding? Oh dear lord. Yeah, I'm still bleeding. Oh, this sucks. I think I'm kind of screwed. Dude, do you, do you guys have bandages? Oh god, that was my own guy, I think. My whole body's bleeding. My whole body's bleeding. Oh god. I am so dead. Oh my gosh. Look at my body. Oh no, I'm getting dizzy. Ow. My cheeky bleak is the... That's a dead body. Do you have bandages? Frick. Oh no. This is where it ends. Nobody brought bandages with them on this raid. What a terribly painful way to go. Slowly bleeding out of my orifices. May the good lord have mercy on my soul. This... What the heck was that? This, <laughs> I was offering my gun to the heavens. Take it! There's an ambulance right here. I can't jump because I'm injured. Oh wait, I just jumped there. Somebody took it! Hello? Do you guys have... Bandages? Please give me something, man. I hate you. You got bandages in your pockets? Nope. Alright, I'm just gonna wobble my way around until I die. Making my way to the extract, which I won't make it to. Look at my- oh my- Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, that's about how I would sound, honestly, if that were to happen to me in real life. But I also learned that eventually, through all the tears of anguish you cried and the blood spewing through your pores forever, reminding you of your mortality, you will win. It may not be an action-packed win, like mine, <laughs> but it will win nonetheless. I only came across one guy, and he shot me, grazed me, and then he ran away. And that bro flippin' disappeared. But you know what? It feels good to feel, feels good to get a win. However passive it was. Glad to be here.